This video will introduce viewers to open source mapping technology. It will cover what open source technology is, why this kind of technology is useful, and how it is being used by the GIS community. What is open source technology? You've probably worked with many different computer programs and softwares before. Very often, these programs cost a lot of money to buy, and you only get to use them in the ways outlined by the terms and conditions of these softwares themselves. Many innovators in the technology and computing sector felt that the often expensive price tag on these programs limited the number of people who could afford to use them and found that these types of programs limited the opportunities for the sharing of data and ideas between software users. This led to the creation of open source softwares, aka technologies that are free to use and whose published data can be distributed freely between users. Open source technology also allows people who are extra technology savvy to be able to change the source code or the structure of the programs to make the programs suit the specific needs they might have. It allows any person from around the world to have the right to use, share data on, and change these technologies as they see fit. Why use open source technology? Closed source technologies are those that have strict rules that govern how they should be used, and often cost a lot of money. This means that only a small number of users, who are often highly trained to use these softwares, really have the money or the skills to use them which leads to fewer opportunities for the creation of data, technological improvement, or exchange of ideas. In comparison, because open source technologies are free to use, many more users can access them. Also, the lack of strict rules dictating how individuals are allowed to use this technology allows them many more opportunities for more data creation, technological improvements, and idea sharing. How has open source technology been used by the GIS community? Many industries and groups have benefited from open source technologies and the GIS community is one of them. This technology has allowed them new and exciting ways to share geographic information. The creation of open source mapping softwares has allowed for users from around the world to contribute what they know about their neighborhoods and local environments to help create a better understanding of the whole world. In the past, one expert would use a large amount of equipment in highly expensive expeditions to map a relatively small part of the world. Instead, open source mapping softwares have a large amount of users who can use the tech they already have, for example laptops and cell phones, to generate data at a fraction of the cost, which allows them to use their localized knowledge to create a map of a much larger space. This model of data collection and creation, where many members of the community share information with each other, has a name, crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing is when someone in the community makes an open call to all users of a technology to volunteer their skills and help get a specific project done. This allows users from around the world to work together with the technologies they already can access to help add to the solution to any particular problem. A major use of open source GIS has been in its application to emergency management. GIS crowdsourcing operations involve mapping regions of the world that were recently hit by natural disasters, like tsunamis, earthquakes, forest fires, and others, and are usually to make maps of things that emergency responders, like medical workers and firefighters, would need to use to rescue the people who may be hurt or trapped like evacuation routes, key service buildings, among many other pieces of information. Because of the large community of open source software users, when this data is needed, it can be generated relatively quickly by the large community of software users. Also, because these platforms are open and often hosted online, it's easy to get the data to the people who need it most. Many crowdsource initiatives allow thousands of people around the world to map areas affected by emergencies, like areas hit by Hurricane Hian in the Philippines in 2014 and portions of Nepal destroyed by the 2015 earthquakes in the Himalayas. In conclusion, open source technologies are softwares that can be used, 
shared, or changed freely by any user. They increase the flow of ideas and information around the world and help people find new ways to exchange important information with each other. And finally, open source technologies have helped users find new ways to map the world and to crowdsource important projects to allow mappers from around the world to help solve specific problems. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video.